Oh, okay. Gary, give us just one more second. Apologize. So I did my presentation on North Storm. North Storm, um, same for North Storm Inc. is an American chain of luxury department stores headquarters in Seattle, Washington. Uh, founded in 1901 by John W. North Storm and Carl, um, Carol, Carol F. Wong. The company began as a shoe retailer, expanded its inventory to including clothing, accessories, handbags, jewelry, and etc. So here is some basic information. It has uh, 249 stores uh, opening in 40 states and it headquarters in Seattle, Washington. The stock sign is JWN and the current price, stock price is $47.15. Um, BMC, value pro propositions. North Star Inc. is the destination uh, dedicated in established men, women, and children. The place is like a high value fashion store. And sell channels is using online website, physical stores, and smartphone apps. Custom segment high end uh, high end shoppers and sellers people. Sell channels, um, they're using membership, email, uh, uh, ad, private sell, and uh, and uh, I I think I listened to the second quarter of the uh, investment thing, and um, the goal for their second half of the. This year is first they plan to open six rock stores, which is a, a lower price North Storm um, store in Canada in September. And then two more rock stores in Cali at October. And um, there will be like 232 rock stores total in the end of this year. And uh, they want to improve the online shopping experience by uh, on speed and convenience. And they really focus on their um, online shopping experience this year and they, they want to increase their total sell on online um, shopping to like 25% and they're like now 20% and they want to continue to provide customer the best product that they can and um, the, online, yeah, the online sale became 25% of the total sell at the end of the year and peer ratio peer ratio is one of the most widely used tools for stock selection it is calculated by dividing the current market price of the stock by its earning per share. It's, uh, so what I understand this P ratio is um, as it gets higher, the risk of the company gets higher. So right now it's lower than 57 of the 732 companies in the global industry. It's pretty good, it's doing pretty well. And the ROE percent. Uh, return to equality is the amount of net income returns at the percentage of shareholders equality return on equ uh, equally measure um, cross plantations prof profitability by revealing how much profit a company generates with the money shareholders have invested so as what I understand on this um, uh, is good it gets higher and um, yeah it's it beats the like 97 percent of the 944 companies in the global industry doing pretty well and the net margin. Net margin is the percentage of revenue remaining after all operating expenses, interest, taxes, and preferred stock uh, dividends. So, doing pretty uh, like an average job, is what I think. And uh, for the, uh, I think this is a value stock because they really focus on customer experience, and they they took the cost uh, customer experience as their number one goal to achieve. And it noticed that the digital shopping will, will be like the very very big thing in the future. So they they're doing more focus on the digital shopping online smartphones, and um, they also continue to open those um, physical stores. That is also another their like most um, earning things like profit. So I think it's a value stock to keep for. Thank you. It's my presentation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we might want to ask you some questions, so leave it clear. Anybody have any questions? I have one. Yes. Will you go back to the return on equity slide? So first of all, um, 
it's return on equity, not return on equality. You're oh, saying equity. that a couple times, but that's fine. This is your first time being exposed to this. I'm sorry, the net margin slide is the one I want. Okay, so he said its net margin is higher than 51% of the companies in this industry. Mm -hmm. And then down at the very bottom, it says the industry median for net margin is 2.37. So, Gary, you're in the finance group of the cafe. What is the cafe's, what's approximately the cafe's net margin? Oh, God. Was it like one point something? No, it was like three, two. It's above the medium. Yeah, so our net margin at the cafe is fifth, about 50%, remember? Because we had about... Two thousand dollars in sales the first week and about a thousand dollars in net income. Yeah. And net margin is the net income divided by the revenues. So does it surprise you that the cafe's net margin of fifty percent is so much higher than Nordstrom's net well, margin? Because we don't have to pay for anything like over oh, stores. We don't have to rent it for anything. We don't like we got food and we sell sell it. Like we don't get like over like like people don't buy it. People always like buy our food, so that's why we get like that big percent. Excellent, yeah. excellent. And net margin is definitely something that changes by industry. So the apparel industry's net margin, would you consider a 